Yo, what's up everybody? Today, guys, I'm going to be doing a basic coding tutorial. This is just part one. I'm going to be teaching you guys like how variables work. This tutorial is for beginners only. Like, if, you, if you're like intermediate, I don't think you'll learn too much from this. It's just going to go over um, how variables work and um, how you can use variables and just like different different things you can do with variables. So this video is for people who like in my comments are ask, saying stuff like, oh, the script doesn't work or something. So this, this tutorial will be pretty helpful for you guys and um, it'll help you actually understand like the code that I make. So yeah, let's get right into it. So what is a variable? So if you guys have ever done some basic algebra i guess you should know like a variable is like a letter or something or anything that can represent a something else okay so in it is the same in in coding so how do we make a variable well there's a couple ways of doing that the the normal way is by making a local variable so local variable equals and then you can give it a value, something like 10 or something, or true or false or like a word. So in this, basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a variable named variable and I'm setting its value to 10. Now, let's say I wanna make another variable, local variable two equals, and let's do something like, like this. of variable three equals this and so on. As you can see, these three values right here are both different. They're all different. So this one right here is a number. This one right here is a string, so like a word or a string of characters. And this one right here is a Boolean, so something like true, false, or nil, something like that. You can set a variable to pretty much anything. And that's why in code you use variables because you can store a value within a variable. Now, the easiest way for me to show you guys um, what a variable's value is, is by just printing it out. So if I print variable, it's going to print 10 right here. And it's gonna print everything in this, which is called the output. Now the output, is really important. You have to have this. If you don't have this out, you're trolling because this tells you if your script messes up, where your script messed up and how it messed up. And the way you can like enable this is by going to view and clicking on the output button. So if I didn't have that, see, nothing. Now I click it and boom, I have an output. So let me run real quick and you'll see that it'll print in here 10. As you can see, it printed 10 because the value of variable is 10. And you can use print and put in parentheses whichever variable you want and it'll print that variable. So let me make it print variable two then. And what, what do you think variable two is gonna print? It's gonna print tree. As, as you can see, it printed out tree. If you guys can't see this, I'll make it bigger. As you see, value is tree, it printed out tree. Now the different types of data, the different data types here, you can search up on your own. Um, these are just some of the basic ones. Um, let's let's do something else. So let's print out variable two, and then after that, I want to change what variable two is. So instead of doing local variable two, we can just do variable two equals. And then you can make it something else. Let's make it apple. And then let's print variable two again after this. And now you'll see in the output that it'll print tree and then it'll print apple. And you see tree apple. And that's because the value at first was tree. We printed out tree, right? Then we changed it to apple. And now when we print the same variable two, its value is now apple, so it'll print apple. It's pretty cool, right? Well, 
Now let's say, let's look in our uh, workspace, right? Let me add a part into the workspace. Well, let's say I want to access this part right here. And also, oh, my bad. So I put the script in starter character scripts. Let's say I wanted to um, access this part, right? Could this part be a variable? Well, yes, it can. Now, in Roblox, the way to access a variable is pretty simple. You just basically put in the address of the object that you're trying to access. So what do I mean by a uh, address? Well, everything in this game has like a parent, right? So right now the parent or um, the person, the thing that is uh, outside of the object that I want is workspace. If you minimize workspace, you see the part goes away too. And so the correct way to address that is, um, let me just rename this variable. Name the variable. I usually, usually when you name variables, you want to name it to what it is, right? So I'm trying to get this part right here. So I'm going to name the variable part. And the part is equivalent to the workspace dot part. See workspace dot, which means like go down a layer and then part. Now let's say when within my part, I had a point light okay now how would I access the point light well you could make a new variable right you could say local point light equals you could write workspace dot part dot point light right or you could just say hmm workspace dot part workspace space dot part all of that is equal to part right so you can just take that and just put it there. So now point light equals part dot point light. Mm -hmm. Right? So see that? Well, right now our let's look at the point light. So the point light's brightness is one. And the color is white. It is currently enabled and it has a range of eight. Just like how I was able to change that variable two to become apple, I can change any property of any of these variables just by changing the value at that address. So let's say I wanted to change the parts transparency, right? So I could say part and then what what is uh, the transparency property called? It's called transparency. So part dot transparency and then equals, let's say 0.5, right? So what this does is it turns the transparency of this into 0.5. So after we run the script, it will look like this. So let's run the script. Oh, let's click play, and you'll see that it turns semi-transparent. Where'd it go? Yep, see, it's semi-transparent now, right? That's pretty cool. Now, let's say I want to change the point light um, brightness. So I could just do point light dot, and then let's see, what's the point light brightness called? It's called brightness. So point light, light brightness equals, let's do like 10. And remember when you use, uh, when you use like these properties, it has to be typed out exactly. So if you see like a capital B, it has to be a capital B. Just like how if I wanted to access this variable, I have to type it exactly how I typed it before. So now the light will be like super bright. I don't know, yeah, as you can see, it's like really bright now, right? And it's semi-transparent. The part itself is semi-transparent. So what I did there was I basically told the part that it should be semi-transparent and then I told, I took the value of the brightness and I turned it to 10. Now let's say, let's say I wanted to um, make the part bigger. So how would I make the part bigger? I want to change the part's size. So far, all of these values have been stuff like numbers, but when it comes to the part size, so I want to change part dot size. As you can see, it's a vector three. Now you can search up 
what a vector 3 is. But essentially, it's a set of three numbers. It's an x, y, and z number. And in between, you put a comma. So I want to make it 10, 10, 10. So now it'll be a 10 by 10 cube. So I play the game, it'll be a bright, semi-transparent 10 by 10 by 10 cube. Yep, OK, there we go. As you can see, that is indeed what it is now. Now, all of this is happening on the client because I put it in a local script. There are di there's a different type of script called a server script. Now, the, everything that the local script does only happens on whoever is um, playing the game. So only I would be able to see what the local script does. But if I did, did something in a server script, everybody would be able to see it. So let me just take all this out. Or actually, let me show you guys what I mean. Let me play the game, all right? And you'll see that on my screen, it's become a semi-transparent 10 by 10 by 10 cube. But then if I go to the server, you'll see that it hasn't changed, right? You can see my player right there. You see the piece, the, the little part never changed. But if we take all of this code and put it in a server script, which I usually put in server script service, you'll see that it will happen not only on my player screen, but it'll also happen on the server. And you see, yep, it's right there on the server. So this is called replication. So if you do it on the server, it'll replicate to all the clients. But if you do it on a local script, it'll only replicate to your own client. That is why it's really important to do damage and stuff on the server, because if you did it on a client, only one player would be able to see that they damaged somebody. On the other player screen, they didn't get damaged at all. So that's the difference between local scripts and server scripts. One, it, it does stuff on the server that everyone can see, and the other one only does stuff on your own on your own screen. I'll go into more in detail about server side and client side in later videos, but yeah, for now I'll just stick to what I said there. Now that we have two variables, right? What if we want to set a variable? to a property of some other object. So let's create a new variable. I'm going to call this variable um, part brightness, right? Or part transparency. Let's do part transparency. Now I'm not going to give it a value yet, OK? This is OK. So, so far, this right now, this value is equal to nil. Now, I'm going to change the point light's brightness to 10. And then I'm going to set the part transparency equal to the point light's brightness. And now I'm going to change the point light's brightness to 5. Now, after all this, I'm going to print the part transparency. Oh, wait, what am I doing? OK. So, I, so um, you could change this back to brightness, my fault. Um, right? So part brightness, right? So what do you think it'll print? Is it going to print 10, or is it going to print 5? So. You can put your guess in like the comments, and let's see what happens. It was 10. And that's because when we set this, we set it to the static value of point light that brightness, which was currently 10. Even if we change the point light's brightness, the value stored within this variable is still, the, it's still this right here. So that's why when we print it, it prints 10 instead of 5. Now let's say we our script gets a little bit complicated, right? And um, we think that a value, so let's do local value equals 10, and 
then um, we have a value called 10, right? And then we want to make it a higher value, right? Let's make it a higher value so we can add a certain value to it. Well, let's add a new value equals 10. Now you want to get the value of both of these together as value 3. So three. what you could do is you could just write 20, right? But if you were smart, you could just do value plus value 2, which is the same thing, right? And then when you change this to something else, it'll still print out these two numbers combined instead of 20. So let's print out value 3. And if we run this, it'll print 20, right? 10 plus 10, 20. And then let's do something like 5. It'll print 15. And you see, that was 15 right there. So basically, whenever we add these two values, whenever we set value 3 to this, it just takes the value of value and the value of value 2, and it just combines them using the plus sign. You can change this to minus as well, and then it should print 5. So you can perform basic operations upon variables. Right? See, it prints 5 over there. So yeah, that's it for this video. It's just really basic, like the basics of variables and like what they actually are. And if you like see me in my code um, doing anything like this, Basically, it's what I did today. So thanks for watching. Next video, I'll go a little bit more in depth, and I'll go into loops. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.